Hi everyone, welcome to another totally nerdy video about guitar gear. Today I want to talk about a really super piece of software written by David Fleury and a huge thank you to him. Um, once you've seen this video you're going to realize how super this software is and it's going to transform your life with the Boss RC500 Loop Station. So um, it's at this point of the video I've got to say please hit like, please hit subscribe, comments are, are welcome. I'm going to put links to uh, all the stuff down below. So let's get into it. If you follow the link that I'm going to put, you're going to arrive at the this screen. Um, and um, this screen, actually, David put it together recently and it's got lots of information. Uh, I'm not going to go through that at all because it tells you how to use the app. I'm going to give you a quick summary. The important thing is, look, there's a download link and uh, there's there are versions of this for Windows, Linux and uh, OS X and uh, so if you click the link it will take you through to this page it looks scary and frightening just one tip with this page which is that the Darwin link is the one for Mac users to use the other ones are self-evident Linux if you're using Linux you're a nerd anyway so you know exactly what that means and of course Win64 Windows so the Darwin one I've already done this before uh, but I'll just show you clicking it it arrives uh, down in my uh, computer. Now just one little tip, if you ar accidentally arrive at this page, uh, this is uh, David's GitHub page. Now you can download it from here, but it's a bit tricky. So if you get there, don't do that. Go to this page and look for the download link. OK, so uh, once you download it and open up, you're going to see a window like this. I'm on a Mac uh, and actually this Installing this is the worst for Mac users, so uh, let's just go through this uh, step by step. You need to pick up both this, which is the application, and the resources folder and copy them into your applications folder. And very helpfully, David has put that there. So you just drag and drop. I won't do it. OK, here's my folder for uh, my RC and I am going to pick up those two things and drag it into there. Uh, application needs my password. And in they go. So now uh, the next issue you're going to have if you're a Mac user is this. When we double click this application, it's going to give you an error. Now, this particular error is separate to me uh, because I've already run this uh, today, but uh, I'm going to hit cancel. Your error message is going to look slightly different, and uh, but basically it's going to narrow error and it's going to say uh, the system can't check this for malware and it's going to be really scary. Now, you can't get past that dialogue. What you need to do is right click on the application and select open, which is you would think is exactly the same, but it is not. And what's going to happen is it will say, are you sure this time you will get the same dialogue as me? And I am going to say, yes, I want to open this. This stuff over here, don't worry about that. That's absolutely normal. And up comes the screen. So there you go. We've made it through a few steps uh, if you're a Mac user to get to this screen. Now, this screen shows absolutely everything um, that you will set up in your memory um, in your memory screen. Now, uh, there is one other part uh, which we'll get to in a minute, which is the assigns. I'm not going to go through the whole screen. Uh, you can use the boss documentation, but let's just tell you why this is so great. So the first thing is you don't have to delve through all of the menus and on that tiny little screen that's on, on your uh, boss thing and you can see everything laid out here. The other thing is if you hover over any of the settings, uh, uh, that's when I say hover, just point your mouse at it. The um, David has helpfully included the documentation from Boss, so you'll be able to see everything. And some of them are a little bit tricky to understand, so it's great to have that right here. The other thing that's fantastic is the ability to copy uh, presets. OK, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Now, how are we going to actually use it? The first thing you need to know is that you need to open up the Boss RC 500. 
Now, I'm going to show you another piece of video now where I um, did open up the Boss RC500. So let's just cut to that while we do that. Okay, here we are over at the RC500 and uh, what you need to do is press the menu button. There you go, general, preference. No, we don't want that. Oh my goodness, my cat has arrived. Go away, cat. <sighs> Come on, move. Uh, so let's go back. Oh, go away. Doing some. <sighs> so set up preference, turn the knob MIDI. No, we don't want that. No, we don't want extent. Yes, we do want storage. Click the encoder, says storage off. And we just turn it once and it says connecting. Go away, cat, you're not in the video. Oh God. Okay, welcome back. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing my cat there. So um, we've now got the Boss RC500 uh, here and um, we're going to go into the directory, Roland, data. And here you can see all these things are greyed out. You don't have to select an individual file. You just have to select the folder. Click open and you can see here it's immediately going to get my set got my settings here. I've got my preset one is called main setting memory one in boss terminology and I've got another one on 10 on 11 which is 6 8 time. I only do one song in 6 8. So uh, here it all is. Now this actually is now we are editing the settings directly in the uh, boss RC 500. What can you edit? So the assigns are absolutely amazing. Uh, look at that. If you pick an assign, and this is these are all my MIDI assigns. If you pick an assign, look, they all pop up on the little menu. Really very, very clever. Uh, and it's so much easier than doing that uh, on that tiny little screen. The other thing is you can set system settings here. Uh, things like extents and uh, phantom supply. I won't go through some random things there. What's the point? OK, so say you've done all of your editing, uh, blah, 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 blah. What you must remember to do is save. I'm not going to do it because in case I make some random change. But if you press save, it's going to take all of these settings on the screen and put them into the RC500. Oh, I did say I was going to mention the copy function, which is amazing. So what I recommend you doing uh, is get all of the settings that you want as your default. So for example, I'd like the rhythms to come on at 30. Actually, I've left it at 31, but who cares? I'd like the all of the rhythms to come on quietly uh, because I don't accidentally want to have them at a loud volume through my amp when I first turn them on. So I've set them all to be 30. And then what I've done is I've copied them to all my presets. So here's a really clever thing. If you, for example, select from 1 to 20 in this box and then I press this copy button. I'm not going to do it because it's going to overwrite all of mine. It will put that setting, all of these settings, into all of the memories from 1 to 20. So effectively, you can set up your own global settings for ranges. And um, I haven't quite got round to it yet, but I was thinking I'm going to have some standard settings in memory 1 to 10. Another set from 11 to 20, another set from 21 to 30 and so on. Um, so you can set things up uh, and then copy them around to your heart's content. OK, uh, I think that's the whole video. That's all I can say about this. It does take some time to get used to the Boss RC500, but this software makes a huge, huge difference. I totally recommend it. And great thanks to David Fleury for all of the work that he must have put into this. Um, and by the way, he was very, very helpful. I had a problem, a little bug, and he fixed it almost immediately. So uh, what a super guy. And I think we should all thank him for his excellent work. Once again, hit like, hit subscribe. Very welcome to get your comments down below. I'll try to answer every comment. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.